Here's today's challenge question. Most of my students get this question wrong or spend too much time trying to solve it. I'll teach you how to answer this question in less than 60 seconds. How we choose the Democrats has no bearing on how the Republicans are chosen. The arrangements are independent of each other. When we encounter independent arrangements, we simply multiply the outcome of each independent event in order to find the totality of the arrangement of the two sets. In other words, we first find how many combinations are possible in choosing three Democrats from ten Democrats. Then we find how many combinations are possible in choosing three Republicans from ten Republicans. The product of these outcomes will tell us how many combinations are possible in choosing three Democrats from ten Democrats and three Republicans from ten Republicans. The way to find how many ways we can choose k objects from n objects without replacement is by employing the binomial formula. Recall the binomial formula, n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial for the number of ways we can choose k objects from n objects without replacing objects. In other words, there are 10 possible Democrats for the first slot, 9 for the next, and 8 for the last. So there are 10 times 9 times 8 ways to choose 3 Democrats. We can express this as n factorial over n minus k factorial. Now we must divide this by k factorial in order to find the number of k size groups we can arrange from the 10 times 9 times 8 possible arrangements. It's important to note that this is only true with combinations. Combinations occur without regard to order. Since we're working with 10 Democrats and we want to choose three of them, we let n equal 10 and k equal 3 and substitute these values into the binomial formula. So we have 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial or 120. Notice that the way that we choose 3 Republicans from 10 Republicans will be identical to the way we will choose 3 Democrats from 10 Democrats. There will be 120 ways to choose 3 Republicans from 10 Republicans and 120 ways to choose 3 Democrats from 10 Democrats. Finally, the answer to this week's challenge question is 14,400, since we have to multiply 120 by 120 to get the outcome of these two mutually exclusive events.